So normally when you get to the boat, as I said, two batteries. One is the engine, separate. The other one is the consumption battery. The consumption battery is used for all the other functions on the boat. And you normally always turn off the boat's main switch. And the boat's main switch is down here. It's a red shift here that you just turn right. Right, now it's on. And then this is an important place. This and here we're going to have, you're going to find an explanation so you don't need to remember this all the time. The DC outlets should always be on. The cockpit lights should always be on. The cabin lights should always be on. The freezer we recommend only to have on when you use the freezer. The macerator is only in certain countries where it's allowed to empty the black tank. If not, this should always be off. The fresh water pump you all only use when you want to have water. And we're going to go through. This boat has water from three places. So I will now turn it on. And you hear the pump goes on. The stereo is always on. The stereo is actually placed here. It's Bluetooth driven. So you only pick up on your telephone or on your iPad or whatever. Fusion and then it's all connected with Bluetooth. Everything is pre-installed, great sound. Uh, and then we have the hatch lifter, should always be on, that's the one for the big hatch. And the electrical toilet, I will now have it on, you only turn this on when you use the toilet, which we're going to show how to use it. So this is how it should look like, and then you just turn off and on. Very simple. And as I said, you're going to have this explained here as well on the production boats. So the driver's position and uh, just briefly go through what you find close to the driver. First, our steering wheels, the old power assist, it's really nice. And then you have a knob here, so you can actually one here then or this. Normally I think we drive here. We have gone through, we have gone through this. On this side you find the hatch lifter, the 12 volt. And this is for all boats installed with bow thruster. You need to turn that one on so it lies red and then it's always on. Very handy. Moving on to the instrument panel. We have the Yamaha instrument that we normally install correctly and then you never need to change it. But it's extremely easy and practical to use. And then we have the switches. Horn goes without saying. Navigation lights, windscreen, two, two speeds. Then we have the courtesy light, one push. Now we have seven light positions on top of the boat at night. And two push, then you have underwater light as well. And then the next one is actually the headlights on the Targa roof. One is straightforward for night navigation when you look for the sea marks. Two, you have one wide and you have one straight on. Two. This is mainly for, at least in Sweden, for the spring and the fall when it's really dark. And the last one is just a test for the electrical bilge pump.